Are ready? Call the roll. Yep. Sorry. Oh. Mrs. Flower. Here. Mrs. Green. Here. Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. Mr. Harris. Here. Too. Here. Stand for the pledge. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I want to welcome the public. Fred, it's nice to have you here. To our regular December meeting. And... Well, are you all logged in then? You know how to do this on your own next time and from your home's hat so that you'll be able to get everything? Yeah. If I can do it on my iPad. Well, you should be able to if we convert them to PDFs. Okay. You should be able to. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was having trouble with. Yeah. Yeah. PDF. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. okay. So then I don't think we probably need Fred. If you want to go home. Sorry? Right. Do you want to go <laughs> home then? I mean, if they're all set up and ready, then. We, we see how to, yeah. We're good. If, if not. We, we have you your number. We know where to find you. Right. I know how to email you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Now, this doesn't mean we're getting away from paper file or digital or I did not. Yeah. <laughs> You'll always have access to them now. I'll be able to go home. I can print them out on my computer, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've printed it all over right now. Uh, you can't get I've been having trouble with mine. Yeah, if I can't get it on my phone. It doesn't want to connect. I mean, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. That's fine. All right, are we, are we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so I would um, Mr. Green, I believe you wanted to request executive session. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, so then we need a motion to consider the appointment of a public official. Motion. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Can I request a executive session? That's what you just did. Okay. I didn't know if that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you were looking yeah. at me, so yeah. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're just going to do this tonight. Okay, that'll work. We will be back in about a real short time. We'll be back in a minute. Having the executive session for? I said for the appointment of consider appointment of a public official. Yeah. No action taken. Well, I mean the rest of the agenda. Coming back, right? Right. until December 31st to finish out that particular term. I'll make a motion to nominate Melinda Vecchio. Melinda Vecchio. I second that. Oh, don't have to. 
We have to close them. Are there any more nominations? Are there any more nominations? All right, at this time, we need a no motion to close the nominations. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. 8-5 then is roll call for the board member and you will respond with the name of the candidate that you would like to fill that seat. Mrs. Flowers? Melanie, Mel Melinda. <laughs> I'm going to call her Mel Melanie. Mrs. Green? Melinda. Mrs. Jones? Melinda. Mr. Harris? Melinda Vecchio. She needs to do the oath of office. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Oath of office. You just say I do one side. Okay. Do you solemnly swear That's that right. you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge your duties as member of the Board of Education of the Seaburn Nichols School District in Mahoney County, Ohio, to the best of your ability? and in accordance with the laws now in effect and hereafter to be enacted during your continuance in said office and until your successor is elected and qualified. I do. I just need you to sign this. nomination for vice president and again that's to fill the seat through December 31st. I nominate Robin Flowers for vice president. Any other nominations? Motion to close the nomination. So move. Is there a second? Second. Call the roll. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Vecchio? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Eight is the roll call for vice president. Respond with the name of the candidate. Mrs. Flowers? Mrs. Flowers. <laughs> Mrs. Green? Mrs. Flowers. Mrs. Jones? Mrs. Flowers. Mrs. Vecchio? Mrs. Flowers. Mr. Harris? Mrs. Flowers. Uh, nine changes to the agenda. Corrections, there are none. Comments from the public? Media, have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Jeff, nothing to. <laughs> <laughs> Comments? Who nominated Mrs. Flowers? I did. That Joanne Jones. Joanne Jones. <laughs> from SLEA. I thought that Lynn Chu was going to be here, so evidently she's not. She just kind of wants to talk about the grant she received, but I'll yeah. talk about it for her. <laughs> so, 12 then is the financial piece. Motion to accept the minutes, the treasurer financial reports, establish a new fund, K-12 connectivity. We have the certificate of estimated resources, the appropriations for fiscal year 18, and purchase service contract for an interpreter. That's for Spanish. Um, I have one correction to the minutes. Is that now? Yes. No, wait until we have discussion. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Motion. Sorry. Yeah. Motion and then, okay. Yep. And sorry. Second. Second. I apologize. All right, Jones. now, is there any discussion? Sorry. Yes, one correction to the minutes. Under superintendent comments, Mrs. Viscount congratulated. Uh, it should be Thompson instead of Thomas, Mr. Thompson. Oh, okay. Yes. Get 
this one of these days. <laughs> Any other discussion or corrections? Call the roll. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Becky? Mr. Harris? Yes. 13 is motion to appoint Robin Flowers to serve as the president pro tem beginning January 1st, 2018 until the time the board elects president for 2018. Motion. I second it. Any discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Ms. Mrs. Vecchio? Okay. 14 is motion to approve the following resolution. This is a resolution to purchase a new school bus. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Is there any reason? Can well, our, the bus that we will be retiring is bus 12. It's a 1997, I believe. It's fairly rusty underneath, so it's doubtful we'll be passing inspection the next time. It has a major electrical issue. So if you're running all of the heaters, then your lights go out. So you can <laughs> you have no lights to pick up kids. It is our spare bus, you know, it was mostly just her in town, but that is a problem. So we had a driver the other day, we just tell her, okay, you can run the front fans, but don't run the back <laughs> ones, and then it starts to get cold back there, switch them. <laughs> and it has been repaired a few times, they just cannot seem to find the problem. And it, it's got, I think, about 170,000 miles on it, so it's up there in miles. So I was hoping um, to not have to purchase until next year because it was on our budget to do that for next year but it uh, looks like we're going to need to do a little sooner so 20 years that's yeah 20 year old bus oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so and, and then we rotate them so that you know i make sure the miles aren't and building will, up on one what will happen to the old one it, it's we'll scrap alliance okay. won't even they that's don't they're not interested <laughs> they bought our other one that that we retired but this one's beyond <laughs> anyone using Any other discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Vecchio? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Okay, 15 A and B are donations. Uh, Lin Chu applied for a grant through NEOEA, which is the teacher union. Um, she received two $250 grants, community involvement. She's buying, well, with the grant, they'll be buying books for each student, and then they'll also be using some of that money to go towards the community dinner because they help finance or they support one of the meals. And then the other donations that are listed there. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Vecchio? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. 16 is motion to grant the following contracts. We have one year limited for a substitute, some supplemental positions, and then Brian Palmer as a volunteer site manager. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. Discussion? What exactly? Can you explain site manager? Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if someone would that Okay, well right now we have two site, man site managers that have, that are being paid. They receive a supplemental for it, and that's Ken Flowers and Ty Schaefer. Um, some, there, there's quite a few games between the home and away. There are some girls games that we're having trouble getting coverage for, whether it be the principal's not available to AD, and I think I put in your packet, um, you know, that someone has to be at those games. So if we list him as a volunteer site manager, he is the coach, then he can fill in if there is not a coach available to go to those away games for basketball. Oh, okay, okay. Basketball. It looks like all the boys' games are covered, but there were about three girls' games that 
you know, Mr. Crumpack wasn't free, the AD, I know Robin's husband travels with his job, so they just couldn't work it out. Okay. So let me make sure I got this right. We've got the coach, and he's also the site manager. Does that, does that cover that? It, it would. I mean, there's times when, when actually Brian Clark may end up in that same position as Ty and Ken aren't free to go. And if something happens, then Brian said that they just stop the game. He'll, like, he'll call a timeout. He'll deal with what he has to deal with and move on. It's doubtful that our own... Do we need more volunteer site managers? We shouldn't because, okay. I mean, unless you want someone that's not a head coach. I'm, I'm just mean, saying, I, I, yeah, I, don't, I would hate to see a game stopped in the middle because we have. Yeah. I mean, the odds of, of our fans. Right, I, I understand that. Fans. So, I mean, it could happen. I would say boys are more likely, except I was on day with girls. <laughs> or whenever I went to the girls' game. So he would be site manager at the away of the girls away games in case somebody couldn't be there right okay more than likely he wouldn't be the site manager at home no he will never no N the home, never every home okay. game is covered okay right. but whose job is it to do the away games the the superintendent or the principal, the principal. It, it should be the principal the athletic director or a site manager right okay okay, okay. and are board of education members allowed to be appointed as volunteer site managers See why not? You're not being paid. See, that was yeah, that was. I know was. that when my husband was on the board, mm -hmm. there were a couple times they couldn't find anybody to cover, and they asked him to go to a game. Okay. Okay. They, okay. This Good term question. wasn't used. Okay. But yeah. have, so we had representation. But it's well. a little more than just controlling the crowd. Yeah. I mean, it's counting the money. It's not in an away game. Though, well, no, not know? in an away game. Right. Yeah. And in an away game, your crowd. Control. I meant like at home. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, should there be a problem? And, right. But really, even at an away game, it's going to be the other team, the other people yeah. that are. It's their court. Right. They're going to be the ones that should be controlling. Their police department should be controlling. Um, you would the site manager, I would say, would maybe be looking at the students. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to make sure that they know that someone's watching them. You know, because I don't know if you've noticed, like, I, if I'm when I'm at the games, I'll make sure I sit across from students, which is why I wasn't down there last time. And Mr. Corby, a lot of times, would I know that Mr. Crumpack does because you need that eye on your students, and they, they see you looking at them. <laughs> All you have to do is look at them. <laughs> now, and, and we do have a adult female assigned to the girls' basketball game since we have a male coach. We have a the assistant coach is female. Okay, okay. Yes, Katie okay. Bio. Yeah, yeah Katie okay. Bio. Any other discussion? Call the roll. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. Mrs. Zekia? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Okay, and then a few comments. Sabrina Roy and Alex Tawada were selected as the Elks Teenagers of the Month for December. Samantha Luca was selected as Teacher of the Month for December. And then I wanted to mention that I reached out to Mount Union in regards to a spring musical. They were receptive to that idea. I met with the chair for the theater department and three students, one theater student, one music student, and then a student that's in uh, costume design and theater. So they, between the three girls, they have it covered. We're gonna have a musical in April, first Friday, Saturday of April. They will receive the supplemental that we have allocated for that position. They are letting us borrow costumes and equipment, and then we'll just need to supplement with whatever else we need for the play. Um, I'll take care of going out and securing donations. They're gonna handle all the programs and auditions. So, and we're hoping this turns out to be a great relationship and something that, that we can do in the future because you know it's a paid internship really for their students. That's good. Awesome. So. First weekend in April, you said? Yes. Okay. I think it's the sixth. I don't know. I have it written down in my office. I also wanted to say you sent us a copy of the Echo, and I was very impressed. Yeah. Yes. With a very, very impressed. The, the article. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. Well written. A lot of talent mm -hmm. in that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that too. Yeah, she did a good job with the students. Yeah. Yeah. We need to schedule a special meeting in January. Um. <clears throat>
No. Organizational is the eighth. Yeah. Organizational is the eighth, correct? Yes. At six o'clock. Yes. Okay. So it has to be after the tenth. Um, what does anyone's preference? I can do the eleventh in the morning. I don't go until ten. That a, that's a I don't know how Thursday. It works for else. How does that fit for everyone else? What you can do it. I, it'd be a struggle for me. Oh, I have to be night. in Canton at eight. We can do it at night. I don't. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Um, how many days do we have? We have to do it before the thirty days. So it would have to be before the thirtieth. We could do it on the fifteenth. Same thing as a meeting. I don't know. It's up to you. We can meet at seven if that would help you. That, I mean, it's not going to be very long. Right, it's just don't point I could, somebody. I could do a seven. Okay. If that works for so everybody else. So is that okay else. with you, Robin? Do is a what? Seven, seven at, a. on the eleventh. Yeah. Okay. That, seven a.m. Seven a.m. Correct. Mm -hmm. At the administration building. Sure. Okay. It's a seven a.m. on the eleventh. Correct. Special meeting. Does that work for Melinda? No, she wouldn't be on. No, she's not. Okay. Okay. And then our, our regular meetings will be discussed and determined at our organizational meeting on the 8th. So. And the, the 8th is organizational and regular January meeting, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. That'll keep us made. That'll keep the special. Yeah. Any other issues that needs to come before the board? Okay. Is there motion to adjourn motion second seconded by consensus this meeting is adjourned